Oh hi there. Welcome to the video. And in this video, uh, I'm going to be talking about natural language processing. So, if you are a data science engineer or a machine learning engineer, it's very important for you to know the concepts of natural language processing. In this project, what we are going to do is basically we are going to build our natural language processing model. So, we will do a data analysis basically on a Yelp data set. So, basically they have the uh, text. So, based on the text, we are going to classify uh, our model whether the ratings is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So essentially we're going to do that and after that once we are comfortable with that we are going to modify that and try to do a regression model. So now based on your text your model will predict the ratings for, for you. This is really cool what machine learning can do. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started with the tutorial in detail. All so, right guys and welcome to the video and welcome to the video and in this video we will start with the natural language processing. So let's get started. So let me just write the heading. Processing on Yelp data set, right? Essentially we're gonna do that. Let me just uh, turn the blower off so it's pretty noisy so I don't want, I don't want uh, that much noise. So let's get started. So the first step uh, is basically we we will be doing a, a data analysis and the NLP model together. So a short data analysis, a small data on the Yelp data set. All right. So the step one would be import the library so first of all guys let me zoom this uh, so you can read this uh, carefully so first of all what we want to do guys is it is wanna we want to import make sure to uh, import pandas as pd then we want to do is import the nltk library so nltk dot corpus and we want to uh, we want to include the stop words right uh, and i'm gonna show you why in a second Right, so that's done. So we have a nice comment, so you can read also si simultaneously. So after that, we need uh, from sklearn, we need the count vectorizer. Uh, essentially, why I'm gonna explain you as tutorial progress. We need a pipeline object uh, in order to make a pipeline from sklearn. So let me do that as well. Oops, used. Then we need uh, the train test split because you wanna test uh, train and then our test. You want to split the data set, so train test split, train test split. So once that is done, guys, we need to import some models. So we're going to use a uh, multi-binomial model. We're going to, or we can use linear regression or logistic regression. Uh, we will cover a lot of example for part one. I'm going to be keeping this pretty easy, right? Uh, for report and classification, I'm going to use the uh, confusion matrix and um, classification report. And after that, uh, to visualize my data, I want to need uh, pandas and seaborn and the string library to process everything. So that's essentially my all the imports, right? So make sure to do that. Oops. There you go. That's all the imports. So the first step, guys, is basically we want to read the data set, right? So uh, Yelp data set right so we wanna so the first step is as i said we are doing uh, data analysis and then the nlp model so we want to get uh, know the data properly so i'm gonna say uh, oops know your data set all right so the very first column is basically read the data uh wanna do the print head right so essentially all the rows and columns right uh wanna do df dot describe so i can uh, make sure that how many rows and columns are there so this shows uh the mean max and the deviation of uh, everything so i can also do df dot info oops df dot info right so i have essentially about ten thousand units ten hundred thousand ten so ten thousand rows right of data that's good. I want to see if this anything we have uh, any blank data. So let me just visualize that using the uh, the Seaborn library. I'm gonna say df dot is null. 
uh, right so and I think I forgot to one thing so why tick label equals to false ah so let me do that again so let's say df dot is uh, null and say sum so here you can see zero 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 so we don't have any uh, blank rows and columns so 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 not so the no data set is missing right now so uh, after do, having a knowledge of the data set we're gonna say step um, uh, visualize the data set so visu i'm bad at spelling guys sorry i'm really bad at spelling so let's uh, uh, plot the data all right so plot the data so we are gonna say uh, pair plot and pass in that data frame and let the seaborn do the hard work for us <laughs> all right so essentially we have our data set now let me just do df dot head uh, so remember we are gonna predict the stars right the rating or we're gonna do the nlp on the stars so we want to visualize our column that on which we will do all this stuff so i'm gonna say essentially a disk plot uh, so i can visualize the data right so that's what my end goal is uh, stars 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 so this is how it looks like so i have five of five of them five ratings and this is the essentially the, the, the distribution all right um after that so once comfortable with that a little bit more analysis and we can begin with the nlp model so i want to see uh the maximum i want to see the review uh, the rating star count how many people gave five star rating uh, four star and stuff like that so i want to here is the question how many many people gave five star five star ratings just want to have a count whoopsie oopsie 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 right so the way to do that in pandas pretty easy right so what am i gonna do basically uh want to have the stars stars right um so if i do the stars uh i'm gonna do value counts so essentially uh there are 3337 people who gave a five star rating so, and 3500 people who gave four star rating so i can write a conclusion here c o n c l u conclusion so i can say maximum people people gave four star ratings ratings right so essentially that's our one of the conclusion all right so let's see what else we can do um, 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 uh we can essentially convert this into a daytime object and essentially plot all of these according to the dates uh but i can do that i know how to do it it's just gonna take time and this video will be a little long but uh let me keep that for the later part and since the video is on nlp let's focus on L nlp right so now we need to do our nlp model right so essentially so let's uh, make some space here and say nlp model natural language processing model right nlp model so uh i want to do prepare my x data and y data set so so the x data would be essentially i'm just gonna predict on the basis of the text right similarly y data uh we want to classify the stars remember and i'm essentially uh what i'm gonna do but right now uh is for this i'm just gonna make a small data set uh, 
just to keep this video small. So I'm just gonna grab a uh, one and five star data set. So I'm essentially filtering the data set. Yeah, you can see that. So, uh, right. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Some spacing here, a little there. Now, the first thing that we need to do is basically we create a count vectorizer. Right. Essentially, once that is done, remember we are gonna do very complex stuff later on, uh, like pipelining and all, pipeline stuff and that. So this is just the first video. So now once that is done, we need to fit the our X data, right? So X data, I'm gonna say CV dot fit, not flood, you stupid. Fit transform, uh, trans transform, right? So fit, uh, oops, fit. Why my auto complete completion is not working? I hate it when it does not work. So it's fine, CV fit transform X data. Uh, then you know what, guys, we need to do the train test split. Essentially, this is a shortcut method, right? Uh, this is not like, we are not creating our custom bag of words and stuff like that. We are not doing that. In the next video, I will be doing that. So, you know, if the video is too long, nobody would like to watch this, right? So essentially, just gonna create a model. So I'm gonna use multi-binomial, right? I'm gonna fit the model with the x-train and x-data and then I'm gonna predict and uh, generate the classification report all right so that's it now run now it's gonna take time and here you can see we have 92 percent uh, about 93 percent of precision uh, recall and f1 score so here you can see the entire uh, report remember uh, we have done only on one and five star rating so essentially if I uh, if I remove this, so let me show you what happens. The accuracy will drop. Uh, so, oops, let me copy this. Where the hell is that? All right, here. So if I comment this out and run this, see what happens. Just want to show you, right? Drops to 47, 59% precision. Uh, so this is essentially on just a single column because we are just taking the text data and uh, trying to predict this, uh, the stars. Essentially, we can uh, uh, do it on all of these columns. We should uh, actually do it, like review ID and stars and, uh, I mean, uh, type and um, user ID and all, whatever. Uh, so that will like improve a little bit of accuracy. Uh, so wanna keep the video short. Uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, hope you have enjoyed it uh, and you have learned something new. If so, do give a like, subscribe to my channel. And as usual, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for part two uh, because we are gonna create a pipeline object. We are gonna do, gonna do regression. So this is basically a classification, right? We're just trying to classify the stars. Now we're gonna do the regression. So the model based on the text, it will predict what ratings you should give, right? So stay tuned for part two.